Hi there and welcome back. Um, if you saw yesterday's you'll know that we made uh, two vellum pockets um, and we're doing them with vellum so we can still uh, partly see the pictures uh, behind. So let's have a look. I'm thinking this one I might do a pocket down there like a side tug and maybe one across or oh, oh, I don't know because that's a really nice um, poem hmm okay so I'll do one down here and then what about a little one uh, there yeah that's what I'll do because, um, yeah, it'd be a shame to, to cover that up, even though, you know, we're doing it with, with vellum. So, because I want uh, a bit of a gusset, I'm obviously going to do it that away. So, I'll just fold it down. <coughs> and I should be able to just tear it down, hopefully. Yeah. And I'm going to want it to come to about there, so I'll fold it again, Let's see if that's straightish. Lovely. Okay. So let's do the first um, gusset. So the next one's gonna need to be a little bit wider. bring this one in a little bit hopefully that will be yeah that's fine and then we'll do a back one like so so that will go like that okay we move this side to oh let's might just use that bit um, and just put uh, side gussets in because it's a shame to to waste um, well to rip another piece of okay <laughs> That's that pocket, okay? I'm going to put the other piece of vellum in my uh, scraps. So let's move this out of the way. Okay. Um, get this and just give it a squidge down. Yeah, same with this. Yeah. So this one. Okay. And I'll just Give it an ink around using the tea dye one. So I've got a few bits left uh, on the table that I wanted to get used up in this Edith Holden uh, folio journal. There'll be um, a little video tomorrow of me making some uh, more journal cards and tags. 
and then uh, tomorrow night will be the flip through and um, yeah as previously said this this is actually sold okay so that's that now I've got these two lovely uh, dyes they're a different green which is fine I did think possibly oh that's lovely so yeah I think I'm going to have that um, on there maybe dream big fits on nice doesn't it so have I got nothing <coughs> to pop that on there so I can stick those on there and let's have a look what size um, card we would want So get my pencil and just do it just a bit under and I don't want it sticking out too much probably that yeah so I'll cut that down in a minute and then I've got that which that'll be fine uh, for that one so let's glue this. I wonder if I've got anything to cover to put on that, that pocket. This is a very pretty dye as well. I'll see this one's off um, eBay. And they did them in all the all different shades of, of green. Okay, so that's that pocket. <laughs> um, I've got one picture left, which I'm thinking I could do um, on there. Only thing is, it's on a it's on a bluebell background, isn't it? I don't think we'll particularly um, go with that. Maybe I don't need any. Oh, I don't think I need anything on the pocket. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that image um, really, really goes. So I don't know if I can put it. Anywhere else. No, so I'll just have to find some something else to put on there now I've still got those blue um, so I might try and use some of those up on that one so I'll put that back with my uh, fussy cuts right let's um, get this pocket stuck in my why I've got it um, here So it's really good, isn't it, that you can, you know, use vellum on top of book pages or um, kit pages or scrapbook pages and you're not losing, you know, you can still see 
um, yeah, not not as clear, but um, you know, you can still still see the image underneath. I think it looks really nice. Now, I know that's going to stick out there, but that doesn't doesn't bother me at all. So, that's that. Um, and we might as well stick that in. Yeah, I should put it on there. that we'll put it back over back over there i'll leave it open to to dry so let's cut this down so that's where my markers and there Do I need to cut this one down any? I think let's just see if it's straight. Yeah, that's fine. So that's <coughs> the tags uh, done. Now I've got the oh too big. I suppose I could. Oh, I should have thought about that. I thought it. So I was going to have it as a side uh, one, but I could have it hmm. no, that's not right <laughs> Ah, um, oh, that's a shame because that fits that way. I mean, I can obviously take that bit off. So that would bring it to there. Let's just cut this a little bit closer. So I'm just going to put some uh, collage behind it. So I've got some book page, dictionary page. Um, this is script from uh, the Meadow Cat. Perhaps we can put that there. Um, I've got some Edith script. Adding that up there. Um, I've got some of this green, so let's start uh, gluing down. Put 
something underneath that. So let's have that going across there or across there. Yeah. And so you're not going to see much of it um, anyway, so normally I wouldn't put as big a piece as this on, but um, I'm thinking you're not really going to see, see a lot of it. So I'm going to pop that up there. that and there and then we just want something across there and so we need something a bit darker Oh, I've done it the wrong way. That's okay. I've got plenty of um, backing pages that I can just stick at the back. Okay. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to have the daffodils there. And see that I do need to get my um, art glitter into where it's not not glued. Okay, that's um, just poking. to dry a little minute um, and this is the background for this one so. I am going to ink this Down 
Yes. So I want some of them across there. Let's go for some of this music. my brown piece have I dropped it hmm it's there okay and then we want some going around there Gonna be touch and go. <laughs> yeah, we've done it. Oh, my out there. Okay. Right. Yep. I need to clean clean my scissors. They're very stuck up. Right. So I'm thinking to get some of these on. And we've got so many in the blue. That one doesn't really. Underneath, so I'm going to start with with this one. And then I'm going to get that one in because that goes to one side. Okay. Love that to fill that space in. It's raining, I keep hearing little bits and bobs. Okay, and we've got this one here. I've got 
out of the green one at there. If we can find um, a word, I'm gonna okay, just put that to the side. What am I looking for? Word, plants, my therapy, seeds of love. Yeah, that's seeds of love. And let your light shine, I like that. <clears throat> right, get some lids on. Ink. hand in the ink. Oh, this needs inking around, doesn't it? Let's ink around here then. Okay. And this one, I do like that in the middle. Right, I'm going to pause while these dry. Okay, I'm all tidied, tidied up. Just wipe, wash my hands and and what have you. So I've put that one in there, which I like, and that one in there. So that's that's those two done. Uh, so apart from some small tags, what weren't doing, um, <clears throat> that's that's that. Now I have still got a bit of the wallpaper left. I should make um, a thingy with it, really. Um, some clips. No, I'll I'll save it. So yeah, I should be back tomorrow to do some. Uh, journal cards and then it'll be the flip through and uh, that, that'll be it and then I'll be going on to um, my new net well my next project um, I have took the book block out of here if you've been watching uh, this is it what I've just been gluing on and inside I've uh, covered it in some wrapping paper um, and I've put tape down there I put in uh, an extra bit for a thicker spine uh, with some you know chipboardy stuff it's not chipboard is that that board stuff um, and then yeah I've just put some tape in between and then just done that and we've got that so um, yeah we should be starting starting that okay thank you very much for joining me and uh, i will see you tomorrow bye for now